So we're asking a simple question. How well does the media do its job? As non-journalists, we kept noticing that the news about Russia was incredibly slanted and untruthful. And right now it looks like it's Russia's fault because it's Russia's fault. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean Russia's going to admit it. Putin is an angry man. Stalin wasn't angry. He is like Hitler. Putin is. Who are these people? Why are they peddling opinions instead of presenting the facts? What happened? What really happened? Because I don't think anybody denies, uh, you know, the need of the general public that we, we need the truth. I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? But it's not happening. When people read The Economist or The Washington Post, what they don't realize is that the people writing and talking about Russia have extremist views. They're ideologues and they have an agenda and it definitely isn't one that benefits you and me. So I started this site at my kitchen table to point out the worst reporting. A funny thing happened. We had this incredible response on social media. People really wanted to get involved. They wanted to be writers. They wanted to help translate, help build the site, really. We went from a media space to a community. We have 50 volunteers, and we're ready to take it to the next level. So there's, there's a real hunger, a real need for a return to sanity-based journalism. We challenged the corporate media and we became one of the biggest news resources about Russia. We're totally transparent. You can find all the information on our website. We're not connected to any governments or institutions. We paid for this out of our own pockets. We want to hire journalists to dig deeper, to study the ties between media and the defense industries and the governments, to go beyond Russia to write about NSA leaks, U.S. foreign policy in general. The purpose of this Kickstarter campaign truly is to have the financial resources to identify the lies in the corporate media, deconstruct it, and destroy it. Old style, old media, pro-government um, journalists, the kind who have essentially made journalism in the U.S. neutered and impotent and, and obsolete. So a free press is the eyes and ears of our democracies. If it's co-opted and corrupt, then we as citizens can't make good decisions.